four weeks. Um, and then down here as well, and then sign it. Okay. And then what we'll do is when the developer gets the deed, we'll give him a copy of this, and he'll file that, and then your NEZ will be in effect. Okay. So you have to fill out your name and stuff there at the top as well. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, Stephen Edward here from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I am sitting here with my proud new homeowners. This is Tay, his wife Lisa, and daughter Bailey. They just bought a beautiful unit over at the Fort Shelby Residences, and uh, they're new owners. Congratulations, you guys. Oh, thank you. How's it feel to be a new homeowner and working with Stephen Edward? Oh, feels great. <laughs> I'm all excited. That was almost like pulling teeth out of it, going to the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it that really made you want to like come to Detroit? Because you could have went to Birmingham, you could have went to Royal Oak. Why did you choose Detroit? Right. Well, personally, I mean, not only am I close to the city and that's where I work, but also I think it's great that you can kind of walk outside and there'll be a million different things you can do and you had no idea that there was, oh, someone just singing opera next to the food trucks or you know um there was like ice skating going on down there or you know whatever it is and every season has something different that yeah. you can be doing yeah and then there's all the pop-up shops that happen you know throughout the different seasons i mean there's there is, she's right there's a million things to do i i follow curb detroit the news and it's like you could turn the corner and there's a new bar or restaurant like how did i not know about this so what made you choose Stephen Edward and uh, what was the most intriguing about him over other uh, agents? Well, he seems like a very nice guy to talk to and uh, well, when we first uh, got in contact with him, it was on the internet and just sending inquiring information. He comes on and we talk on the phone a few times and you know, he's very, seemed like very knowledgeable what you know, he's selling and, and about Detroit. So I kind of, you know, intrigued and then and, you know, feel comfortable to work with him. So we actually, I almost lost him as a client because um, we had submitted an offer, and the seller, which was actually the developer, um, wasn't really going to take the offer. So he was already; they were already to make an offer on another unit with another agent. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I had to go back to the developer and say, listen, we got a, we got a, we got a cash buyer here. We want to put this deal together. So we were able to get him a pretty nice. Uh, Pretty nice price for the property. Wonderful. So, from the time that you, uh, you submitted your intent to the, and submitted interest to the property, Steve got engaged pretty quickly with you. Uh, how long was that process from the day you did that to sitting at this table today, sign? Probably less than a month. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it I mean, I met quick. Steve at the first time he showed me the property. We made the offer two days after that, <laughs> and then you know, and then. The rest is history. Excellent. I think it's a, it's a trust. I, I mean, it, it come across as an honest person and then also uh, sincere. So we can, you know, somebody that we can work with and he's very responsive. Did you refer Stephen to others in, the, in your circle of influence? Oh, definitely, definitely. In That's fact, great. he, he uh, offer some of the tips and, and investment in Detroit. It sounds interesting, so I might even take him up on that in the future. Yeah, it might be a conversation down the road. Right, yeah. so. So when Stephen does, um, you know, start selling homes and stuff and shows it to people, one thing I've liked about it is he doesn't just show the home, right? He does, like you just said, he goes beyond that and goes into the community and shares some of the insights or some of the hot spots or the entertainment spots around the city. Um, it sounds like that, yeah. was some, that was a value add to you and your family. Exactly. I mean, in fact, you walk us down, you know, campus mushrooms and show us things like that. I think yeah. that's, I mean, doesn't seem like a lot, but I, sometimes some of the people would not do that. You know, it's like, oh, you right. show you the property, I'm gone. You know, oh, so, right. you know, they don't want to take the time to do that or get to know you, why you want to come down and, he seemed to dust that, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I wanted to show you the lifestyle. Right, exactly. And then as I was pointing things out, she was like, yeah, I know it, I know it, yeah, I know what I said. Well, living down there, that's, right. that's kind of right. a duh, right? right? You enjoy that, but um, let, me, let me hear from you. So 
th because Stephen went ahead and did that, mm -hmm. and you live in the community, mm -hmm. um, did you find it to be valuable, even although you lived there, knowing that your mom and dad were now going to be part of that community? So I, I worked there, and I've been working there for eight months now. And so it's, it's, yeah, it's different because my dad will always ask me questions about what's around and what's there to do and like um, different things. Is that things. safe to be in that Yeah, it basically is a right. safe and you right. know. That's why I was like, let's go for a walk. Yeah. And you'll see. And then after I talked to Steve, what he told me, and then when he left, I said, if that guy lied, you know. He <laughs> 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 often had the question, says, don't ask the question unless you all know the answer. You mean you right? didn't hit him off for lunch that afternoon? <laughs> um, we could have, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we did. So, Stephen, what, um, you know, from a, from a customer perspective, what did you like about the experience in working with the family and to the day that now we're at the closing table? Uh, it was great to work with. He had a great sense of humor, and he was just open to listening to what I know about Detroit. He was receptive to it. Um, he did, you know, they have done their homework, so they, they, they knew where they wanted to go. They just wanted the right product for the right price, and when I showed them the options, I think they chose the right property. You know? Fantastic. So. Is there anything else that the family would like to add? No, it's One. a great experience uh, overall, so we're great. happy with it and hopefully, you know, we awesome. start a good relationship for a long time.